And the Target 12 investigators continue to closely track the state's COVID-19 vaccine rollout as many of us are eager to learn about when we might get our shot. Target 12 investigative reporter Eli Sherman has been tracking this process from the beginning. He joins us live via Zoom. Eli, one of the biggest questions on so many people's minds right now is when can I get vaccinated? Yeah, the answer for most people is is probably not quite yet. Uh, the state is currently receiving about 14,000 first doses of the vaccine each week, meaning at best they can vaccinate about 2,000 new people per day. And as you can see from this chart, um, you know, it's moving along, but but fairly slowly. Rhode Island has about a million people, so it's just not possible right now for everyone who wants a vaccine to get one. And so as, the, as a result, the state is prioritizing healthcare workers, nursing home residents, first responders, and high-risk inmates, along with adults over the age of 75 years who live at home, although they still haven't quite started that last group yet. And Eli, we know there's a pilot program in Central Falls, which has been hit particularly hard by this pandemic, where some older adults are also getting vaccinated first. Is there any indication of how long people outside of those groups have to wait? Yeah, that's the million dollar question, uh, Kim, and it really comes down to supply and who the state decides to prioritize next. So, you know, currently health officials tell me that they could start vaccinating the next group of people by April, but they still haven't decided who will be included in that group. And uh, they're currently weighing things like whether to prioritize based on age, uh, underlying health conditions, where someone lives or what their occupation is or some combination of all those factors. And, um, you know, I expect to learn more about that by tomorrow. And of course, if the state just starts getting more of the vaccine, if some of them are approved in the pipeline, then you could see all of this just sort of speed up. And Eli, we have certainly heard some reports out there now of people trying to jump the line as vaccines going to people who might not be considered frontline workers. Yeah, that's right. The, the hospitals recently expanded their um, eligibility to include people that you might not think of as a frontline worker, such as board members, trustees, and other low-risk employees who, um, you know, don't have much interaction with patients. And that news has obviously frustrated people who are eager to get the vaccine themselves and can't. Um, it's also caught the attention of Attorney General Peter Nerona, who said that he's opened an inquiry into the distri distribution process to see if there's been any legal violations. And as you had just mentioned on the news, you know, uh, one lawmaker is looking into whether or not to assess fines or even, you know, felony um, if people are caught jumping the line in the future. Well, Eli, we know there are so many questions about vaccines right now, and you have a comprehensive Q&A, a lot of those answers right now available to folks on WPRI.com. Eli, thank you.